Hi. Yeah, I know you're probably standing and cheering right now. You're right, it's me, Buck Duke. Professional horse whisperer. And I'm going to tell you, hey! I'm in Edmonton at the uh, Equine Center, and we're going to talk to people at Welka and show you what's going on down here and meet some people and do what I do best. I'm going to whisper to some horses. So uh, let's go out there and see what everybody has to say. Hey is for eating. Straw is for sleeping. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, move. Okay, move now. Stop moving. Stop moving. Here with Diane. You're the director of the uh, Equine Center. I am. Diane, I want to ask you a little bit about what this fundraiser is about. No, just want. God ah, damn it! Sorry, it's. Of course, it's habit. a hard a habit to break. Yeah. <laughs> so we're building a new riding arena. Uh, it'll be 60% bigger than the one that we have. Right. It'll uh, have indoor plumbing. Doubles for really a library important. if things yeah, don't Yeah, if things work don't work out. out. <laughs> we're hoping that it will be all done by June next year. All these animals here, they got a name. I mean, sure, we call them things like Snowball and Spirit and Triumph, but uh, deep down they tell me their real names. This one here is Chocolate Thunder. No, I didn't. That's his own. That's his name. The name he chose for himself. Exactly, yeah. What does the Equine Center mean to you? Uh, it gave me an opportunity to have a horse in the city. Right. I've always wanted horses I, all my life. I've lost you. I can't. I can't do. <laughs> Down here, down here, Donald. Oh, there down we here. go. There okay. <laughs> no, okay, there, now we're up here. Where are you going? I don't understand. Sometimes horses. Ow! What does the equine center mean to you? Uh, to be able to have a horse here in the city to ride the you know, 26 miles of trails that we have and to be able to um, own a horse, not even just ride a horse, but to be able to own a horse down here is fantastic. <laughs> but to also learn, I was a horse user. Right. Now I'm a horse caregiver, right. and that, that opened up a world of doors for me with regards to my relationship with horses and what they can do for people. Right. What's that? I, um, I've been having trouble lately with uh, galloping. Um, it's, it's, um, also, turning left is really difficult. You can get it. You'll get it. Now, uh, this here is, uh, this is not a horse, I'm quite sure. That is not, get out of that stall. Yeah. I'm also a cat whisperer. Yeah. Are you uh, are you whispering to your horse? <laughs> what did you what did you whisper to your horse? Be nice to me today. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Tell me a little bit about the history of this facility. Well, it all started in 1919 when Captain Keeler uh, came back from the war and bought the land from John Walters and uh, built a farm here. And it's been a farm and an equestrian center ever since. Right, and you guys took over, this organization took over the land? In about 1999, we right. took over as a non-profit association. Yeah. Keep our uh, horses happy here and keep them fresh. We often lock them into the uh, into cellophane. These are new Ziploc horsey blankets. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Just about asleep. Ow! Hey, buddy. You don't have to be sad. What's so upsetting, huh? Why the long face? <laughs> that one never gets old. It really never does. What's that? Oh, oh nice try. Oh, nice try. What? Yeah, I know. I gotta lose some weight. I, it's a little rough. But tell me, what does the equine center mean to you? Everything. It's my soul. <laughs> I love this place. Yep. When you whisper to your horse, what does it whisper back? That he loves me. <laughs> you're not you're not projecting that onto the animal. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little. Wow, 1978. These trailers were parked here for a short-term solution. Yeah, almost 39 years later, this will get replaced quicker than the new bridge. <laughs> Mm 
we're we're horse powered. <laughs> we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> Good. Well, we've had quite the time here at the White Mud Equine Learning Center, or Welka, and we've talked to some people, and we've talked to some horses. The more important thing is the horses have talked back, and we've learned that the relationship between the two is the most important thing here at Welka. Well, it's time for me to do what all great cowboys do, and let's ride off into the sunset. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. He doesn't want to get Come on. Come on, let's go. He's a little, he's a little stubborn this one. Maybe because he's made out of uh, mostly carpet.